Cynthia is asking, if someone's looking to take both the November and January LSATs, when should they start drafting personal statements and all the other parts of the application, doing, doing both LSAT and an application side by side? How does that work? Should someone do it that way? Do you want me to jump in on that first? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you jump in and I'll give my take. Okay, but I'd love to hear your take as an LSAT coach. Um, so again, you know, tough questions. That depends on the individual. So the first thing I would say is, what else do you have going on? Uh, are you working full-time? Um, are you in school full-time? You know, how much are you juggling? Because you know, the priority, okay, I just saw working full-time. Okay, well, that you have a lot of, uh, <laughs> you don't have a lot of extra time. Um, I think your priority, your priority has to be the LSAT. So you need to put the time into the LSAT. And, you know, because having, you know, we've talked about all of these different factors and how to differentiate yourself. Well, the most important factors are still, you know, and as challenging as sometimes it can be to have this conversation, uh, the most important factors are LSAT and GPA. And your chances are significantly better uh, if you are at or above their meetings. So your priority has to be the LSAT. Um, you're going to, you know, and, and, and I think the question is, you know, it really kind of depends on, you know, if we're just talking about November, then I would say focus on the LSAT, and then once that LSAT is done, like, really, you know, you're not going to have a lot of time to waste. You'll get super focused on putting those application materials together. Um, I, basically, I'd want you to apply as soon as possible, you know, as soon as you can, when you get those scores back. Um, you know, January, the January LSAT, you know, I still feel fine about the November LSAT, the January LSAT's getting later in the process. So, um, you know, I think ideally, I'd have you working on those application materials after the November LSAT, um, but I realize that's going to be tough to balance. Steve, you're, I'm curious your thoughts as an LSAT coach. Well, sure. Thanks, Jamie. And I, as an LSAT coach, I definitely agree the LSAT is the most important thing. Uh, no surprise there coming from me, but... I also love what you said about the distinction between November and January, because if someone is taking November, they still do have that three week wait to get their scores mm -hmm. back. And you could do a lot oh, yeah. in three weeks. So I'd say November LSAT, only two months away, buckle down, knock it out of the park, then use those three weeks and apply soon afterwards, you get, soon after you get your score back. Yeah. But as you said, January, on the other hand, is starting it a little bit later. That also gives you what, like four months to study for the LSAT. So yeah. in that case, Maybe the applicant could do them side by side, a bit of LSAT, take a break from that, work on the personal statement, yeah. LSAT, then work on the addendum, LSAT, rec letters and all that, mixing them up, taking a break from each one, working on the other. And then of course you submit as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.